Hi guys, today we are headed to Walmart. I'm just about to head out the door. My inspiration recently for wanting to go to Walmart is because every time I've been scrolling on Instagram reels or something, I see a lot of girls sharing so many great fall pieces from Walmart. So I'm really hoping I go to mine today and they still have a lot of things in stock or they have these things that I've been seeing online. We'll be looking at clothes, maybe the accessories and shoes, of course. I thought I would mention this because every time I wear old clothes, I always get questions on it. Sorry, the lighting might not be great right here in this spot. This flannel old from Target, a couple years old, but I want to find some more stuff like this. This bag, I've actually had it on my Poshmark for I don't know maybe a couple months now and it's not budging so then I was like you know it is a nice little bag maybe I'll just keep it now jeans Abercrombie and then my new sneakers that I've been talking about on Instagram and my latest videos I feel like I've talked about these shoes a few times I love them so comfy so we are casual and we are looking forward to a fun little shopping trip at Walmart today so gonna bring you guys along Hope you enjoy and let's head out. First, I think we hit the jackpot with these Sherpas. We've got Time and True, which is always a great brand. I love this one. This is the only one left in this size, which is not my size, but I love it. These are $30. And I think I might grab this camel color. They have quite a few colors, like black, green. They have a blue one, a pink one. I really love this one. This totally looks like in supply from like Nordstrom or something but I think I'm gonna grab this one I also just noticed they have it in a zip version as well same price so now I don't know which one to get they have some brighter colors of this too I really like some of these color block ribbed shirts too they're kind of like 90s inspired I love the brown. I think that would look really cute tucked into a pair of jeans. So they have a few colors in that. They have a few like ribbed sweaters like this too. These are like $15. I love all of these little sweaters here. They have really good colors. No boundaries, $16.98. Kind of like that cropped look. Love the chocolate brown. I just found this faux little mini skirt too, which the mini skirts are so in for fall right now, so I think that's really adorable. They have some really good jackets though. They have these quilted ones over here too. These are actually $45, but again, I love the camel color. Any time I have an excuse to get anything in camel or chocolate brown, I will be doing it. These vests are a longer length, if you can tell. They are the Swiss Tech brand. $35 which is so good for a little puffer oh my goodness my mom she ordered something like this off of Amazon like a longer type vest and I was very skeptical at first but it was actually really really cute I think these are really cool the quality feels really nice too tons more puffers literally $25 are you kidding me that is insane I love this one of course Oh, they have a plaid one? Are you kidding me? There is a brand called Stowed or Stawed, and they sell a dress almost identical to this No Boundaries one, which is 1948. I'll have to insert a pic of the more expensive one, but this is such a good dupe. Oh my goodness. Run, don't walk for the shackets. I can tell my Walmart is already getting very low on these. There's a yellow one and a red one right here. They are, I'm gonna see, don't find a price. This is the No Boundaries brand, 20 bucks. That is so good. This is definitely a thicker material, like definitely more like a shacket. So I'll try to link any of these. I am obsessed with these No Boundaries pants right here. Look at them. I don't know if I could pull them off because they look kind of long, but they're so cute and literally $12.50. I just saw it has a matching top for $12.50 as well. Sets are so in right now and that is really cute. They have it in black too. And then tons of little flared pants 
for like 10 bucks. These are literally the movie Clueless in a nutshell. 10 bucks, cannot believe it. They feel very comfy, but pretty thin. I have two of these at home in different colors. I have it in the camel color and then I have it in, I don't know if you can see that cream color up there. They're $12 literally $12 and I've had mine for a couple of years and I still really like it and still wear it but the purple is really cute that been blue burgundy green haven't seen these colors before but like I said I'll try to link those these time and true flannels feel like good quality with a little hood with a few different colors I really like that one too I grabbed another one from the no boundary section but this one actually Feels maybe better. I have a few different colors. I like this one. They have a lot of really good sets. I'm noticing this little midi skirt, it's 15 bucks. It comes in a couple of different colors and it has a little slit in the front, 15 bucks. And then there's a little matching t-shirt. So I like that. They have so many good boots in right now. Immediately, I'm drawn to these. I love that they're like a little taller. They're a slip-on. I love the color. They're actually $35. The only thing I'm hesitant about is that glittery stuff from the edge. I feel like that sort of cheapens it slightly. I still want to try them on. These are sort of a similar look. They're not as tall though. 30 bucks, no glitter. So really cute. I mean, they have them in black and gray as well. Which I feel like the black ones look really nice. That's not glitter, that's just like white stitching. That glitter is just getting me. I'm gonna try on these now. They're not a slip on, but I think a similar vibe. There's literally only one pair of these. These are identical to the Steve Madden shoes I bought last year, 30 bucks, compared to probably 100 or 70 or something. There's only one though, <laughs> so cute. And I've had a pair of sorrel boots like these for the past couple of years. My sister-in-law and I both have them. They look identical to this. Identical. These are 40 bucks here. Water resistant, memory foam. Mine are camel color. Like more of that brown color. But the green is cool. No boundaries again. Love these. 30 bucks. I heard that ballet flats are coming back. Okay, how do we feel about it? It's kind of like a low rise jean situation for me. I don't know how I feel about that. I have some really cute sneakers though. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's the really cool loafers. This 25 bucks that literally looks like a Prada loafer. Oh my goodness, they have it in black too. I really like that cream, it pops. And if you saw my recent video where I got a new pair of Converse sneakers, literally, I could kick myself because they look exactly like this. I mean exactly. These are $22.98, I think I paid like 70. Kind of tempted to get these though. I'm kind of obsessed with these. Like, what am I wearing them with? But I kind of am obsessed with them. I'm gonna take a look in bags. This literally is adorable. You can carry it two ways, like that, or a backpack. And then they have some really fun little Sherpa bags, like this. I know there's a brand, I can't think of the name, that has some bags very similar to that. And look at this one. This is a little fanny pack bag, $16.97, Sherpa. And then they have some more up here. 
I love those. I'm really impressed by this bag. This is Madden and they have a few different ones but it's $22 with the Sherpa. I know a lot of Sherpa bags I was looking last year can be really expensive so I thought that was a good deal but they have a few different Madden type bags and I really like this little nylon backpack. I'm considering getting this because I could actually use something like that. I wanted to see what this bag looked like on. It's kind of cute. I'm really tempted to get it. These are $5.50 and they look exactly like those little stormy clover bags. $5.50. It is the next day. I'll show you guys all the things that I picked up from Walmart. I will say, I think I narrowed things down pretty good to things that I really felt like I'll get a lot of use out of. Pretty just nice basics, I guess. I didn't end up getting those combat boots. I had them in my cart. And then as I was going through the store, I was like, am I going to get the use out of these? I have so many shoes, so I was just feeling like, you know what you probably don't need them so i didn't get those i'm still slightly regretting not getting one of those sherpa bags because i just think they're really adorable but we'll see if it stays on my mind i might go back and get it but i'm going to show you guys all the pieces i did end up getting i'll show you how i would kind of wear it and style it here we go okay so right now i just this is old from forever 21 i've just been hanging out today so let me lower this I've been pretty casual, not doing anything crazy today, but I did end up buying these sweatpants, the Time and True sweatpants. I have them on with my little UGG platform slippers because I will say they're pretty long. Like if I take off the shoe, you can see how much would be dragging on the floor, but still not bad. They almost feel like cashmere or something I originally really liked the camel set of this but they didn't have the pieces in a small that's why i ended up getting these in and then the gray ones didn't have the matching top in my size i'm gonna try to look online and see if i could still order it and i'm loving these so much all sweatpants that i have are tight around the ankle and i love that these are just like loose Honestly, they're a tiny bit big, but they have this drawstring here. So whatever, if they fit well, they totally remind me of the skim sets that so many people purchase and it's always out of stock. They're like $100, I think, for the bottoms, but these were like $20, I think they were like 19 something. I'm gonna try to have everything linked down below for you guys, hopefully I can find everything. Okay, I'll show you guys the next thing that I picked out. This little Sherpa jacket right here. I'll be right back. I'm going to throw some jeans on so I can show you how I would actually wear it. Also, please don't mind my hair. I literally wasn't even going to film this part of the video today because my hair needs to be washed. So please disregard it. I know it's not looking good today, but I wanted to give you guys a little idea of how I would wear this outfit. Sherpa jacket, super simple. I just have this little cropped tee under it. I have a crown jeans and oh my goodness, I am so glad that I bought these shoes because I've been wearing them every day. I'm just obsessed with them. If you can still find them, get them because they are so worth it. But this is the medium in this jacket and it was $29.98. They didn't have any smaller sizes in this at my Walmart. You can tell it's like slightly oversized. So I probably could have done a small too, but... I think the medium is nice because I can layer a sweatshirt under it. I feel like this would be a really cute like football game outfit, you know, or just going around town like daily errands type of thing. So this is how I would wear this. Honestly, I could wear this jacket with so many things, but this is just a little idea of how I would wear it. And they have tons of different colors. So I'm glad I got the jacket version too, instead of the half zip. I think I'll wear this more. Here is that no boundaries, long sleeve, basic tee. They had a bunch of different colors, but I have this in the short sleeve version and I do wear it a lot. I will say, so this is what it looks like 
full length. I got it in an extra small. I didn't try anything on in store, so I probably could have gone with a, just a small. But it is kind of long. And I usually always get like something a little bit cropped just because my torso still is very short. I would probably wear it like this, tucked in. I think it'll look really cute with like a little puffer vest over it. It was, where's the tag? I think it was like $8. So pretty good just for like a little basic and I would probably wear it with my jacket over it which they had things similar to this at Walmart but this is just one I've had for a couple of years and I really like. I would wear this mainly as just like a little shirt that goes under things, puffer vest, jacket, plaid shirt, whatever. But I think this looks, I think this looks really cute just like this. What do you guys think? I love that they had so much chocolate brown stuff. This might be my favorite thing out of everything that I purchased at Walmart. I threw on a little dressier bag and dressier shoes just so you guys could see what it looked like a little dressed up. I feel like this would be an adorable outfit for anything that you have to go to that's a little bit dressier during the winter. It's super soft. This could be cute for a baby shower, Thanksgiving. You could even dress it down too just with jeans. I actually just had this on with jeans before I put the skirt on and I was like it's really cute just as a little top like that too. So it came in a set. I got it in the extra small. $24.98, it also came in black, and I just love it. So I threw it on with these boots that I had, but I honestly think it would even look cute with those sneakers that I've been showing you guys that I've been wearing with everything. So this is kind of like a close-up of the fabric. But I love it as a slit here. I think that's really cute. This honestly reminds me of a set that I would get from Nordstrom. So it's really stretchy and just super comfortable. I'm kind of obsessed with this and I love that I can dress it down with little sneakers, shopping day outfit. I kind of don't even want to take it off. Here is the final outfit. Like I said in store when I was showing these, this looks almost identical to a really expensive brand. I think it's called Staw. They have these color block dresses and I just think this is such a good dupe of it. I love that it's ribbed. And I love these colors, of course, because I love the chocolate and that camel color. For sizing reference, I actually got this in a large. It says 11 to 13. Um, this is the No Boundaries brand. So this is like a junior's brand if you guys aren't familiar. Sometimes I do size up in this brand. You can see it's a large, but it definitely fits more like a small in my opinion. I paired it with these sneakers. Guys, I'm gonna link these sneakers too because I just think everybody needs them. I know they keep selling out, so keep a lookout for them or I think you can get them on the StockX website. But I love wearing little dresses like this with sneakers because you're just comfortable, but it just gives it like a sporty, chic vibe. Yeah, this is sewn all the way down, which is nice because it's a dress and you don't have to worry about it popping open or anything. This is just another thing I don't want to take off. I'm obsessed with it. So cute. So that's everything that I picked up from Walmart. Kept it very minimal because I am trying to just keep things in my closet that I, I know I'll wear a lot over fall and winter and this is just such another great piece too that I know I can get a lot of use of because I can wear it with heels or sneakers. I don't know if I mentioned the price on this. It was $19.48. Like I said, I spent about 100 bucks at Walmart. I feel like that was really good for everything that I ended up buying, but I will have links down below for things that I shared in store and then also things that I shared in the haul. I'll try to have a good mix of things down there in the description box if you guys wanna shop for any of these things yourself and you don't wanna go in store, you just wanna shop online, that way you know that you can just get your size because my Walmart, I will say, the sizes were a little picked over. Hopefully you guys can still get some of these pieces online. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've been shopping at Walmart recently. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed yet. Hope you guys are doing great. I will see you really soon in my next video.